Hey guys, how's it going? I'm sitting here blocking on these doors. Uh, got 320 on it right now. I'm cutting, cutting the hash and trash off there. It's a 320 and I'm going to go with 400 so it's ready for sealer. But uh, I'm on the home stretch for these doors. I'll be so, so glad to get these done. Uh, so then I'm going to, uh, I went over to my buddy's house. Uh, he's got a uh, 036, well it's here now, but I uh, went over and picked up an 036 that he bought brand new. I mean he bought that thing, I remember when he, I was so jealous when he bought that thing. Uh, I think it was back in 98, 97, 98. Uh, at that time I was rocking an old Pioneer and uh, a tree smashed uh, 026 that I had hodgepodged back together. I mean. When the tree come down on it, it busted a bunch of fins off the jug and it actually ripped the spark plug and spark plug threads right out of the, the cylinder and I, I cobbed up a fitting in there and uh, the spark plug was actually crooked in that thing. But uh, I, I pieced that saw back together it was a good saw. I rocked that thing for, shoot for firewood in 15, 20 years I bet. And then I got rid of it uh, dirt cheap when I got rid of it. And uh, that, that saw still going today, but at the time I remember uh, it was so, you know, uh, it was, well back then we we didn't have no money. Uh, he uh, I still ain't got no money. <laughs> what am I talking about? But uh, he got that saw brand new, and I I was I was a little bit jealous that that thing was so pretty looking and you know fresh off the. Well, at that point in time, that was the only time I'd ever had a buddy that purchased a saw right off the shelf. So, but I knew he isn't done. That saw has never failed him, never gave him a fit or nothing over the years he's had it. And uh, he he heats his shop with firewood, and he helps his dad cut cut firewood, I do believe. But it, it's not like it's uh, it's been used, but it's not like it's been used like uh, like a tree service or something but he loaned it. I know it was bone stock he loaned it to me uh, I'm gonna make a video on it I want to get footage of that and then it's the same era as that one I put them finger ports in so I'm, I'm super stoked about that that way I got a, a test mule I can uh, use that stock 36 take that barn chain off throw it on mine I can get you guys some footage um, is that 36 I did the pink the finger ports in that saw is a damaged cylinder. I mean it that that thing uh ate a wrist wrist pin clip and screwed that cylinder up pretty pretty decent so that'll make a uh good video. I'm curious to see if that saw is better or worse than a than a bone stock one. Um you know, I don't claim to build fast saws or strong saws. I just do my thing. So, um, and I wanted the cylinder was damaged, so I wanted to experiment. I'm like, you know, why not throw a double set of fingers in that and see what happens? You know, because I know on some other groups and forums I put that on, there were some people uh, concerned or made comments or whatever you want. However you, want to, however you want to look at it, they, they were worried that my exhaust uh, side fingers there was going to short circuit and just blow blow right out the uh, exhaust, which when I tore it down and checked my wash pattern, it, it was not doing that, so that's good. Uh, one thing I'll, I think with that extreme volume I got going on in the huge lowers and all the extra transfer ports, that saw would probably benefit hugely with uh, a full circle crank to take up some some of that crank case volume that I gave it. Uh, it would probably it would probably really perk up really really good, you know, a full circle crank or some case stuffers or something like that. But I don't have any. I'm not gonna tear the saw back apart. Um, we'll see how it does with the with the stock one, I mean, I'm not happy with it. I might pick up another cylinder for it later on. 
but I'm still calling that saw win. It was a complete dead one, trash, not running. Uh, I salvaged the cylinder and then fingered it, and it, I think it's running pretty decent, but we'll find out. I think you guys will. I got a few buddies behind the scenes too that really, really want to see the see the results of that too, and I'm I'm extremely extremely curious too uh, to see what I got uh, going on. But uh, I got uh, I picked up a bench. It's still in the truck. I got to get this door done, get it out of here. But picked up a bench with a vice on it for twenty bucks the other day at a garage sale. I'm gonna bring it in here. It's not a very big one, but it'll be great to. Uh, sharpen chains and uh like when i'm got multiple saws for down it'll be great for that i think you guys will get a kick out of that but uh i got i'm gonna have to switch out to a different block i can't quite get the shape that i want there's a i can feel it right through here there's some some bad feather edging but uh once i get this all cut with uh 320 and feeling pretty good uh, I'm gonna go over it with 400. Uh, this post, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm not sanding that with 320. I'm just gonna hit that once with, with 400 and be done with that post. I'm not too terribly worried about that post for feather edging stuff. For one, I pretty much sanded it down to bare metal, so there's really not much to, to feather edge in there. But uh, I gotta get in here and get this little pocket yet too. But I am super stoked that I'm on the home stretch of these doors. Uh, after these are, this is out of here, I, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna try to finish up that wild thing. JB Weld's carrying on that right now. Um, and uh, I got a more of a bid on that too for you guys. Uh, I decided to cut some more in that piston and uh, it, it'll all be in that, that video. Um, it's gotta get edited. So I'm gonna try to pump that wild thing out, get it up and up and going, and then probably do maybe I'll quick bust out that port job for that uh, eight eight seventy two or whatever it is there that's gonna get auctioned off at uh, Sawfest raffled or whatever it is auction raffle. I think it's a raffle. I think you buy a raffle ticket, get you and stuff to win it, which is pretty cool. And all the proceeds from that. Uh, Go right back into next year's uh, Sawfest. It uh, covers like food, porta potties. Uh, it, it's 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 really cool to see this. I'm glad to be a part of it. Uh, just my buddy Eric puts that on, and uh, that's it. It's been coming straight up out of his pocket. So anything that we can do to donate and and, and help, to, uh, it just makes for a better Sawfest the next year. And uh, it, it sounds like uh, the one thing that we're a little bit worried about is the the super duper high fuel price cost right now that might hinder a bunch of people from not going but I, I still think we're gonna have a good turnout I'm I'm actually starting to set a little bit aside here and there uh, as like a little pot for that thing so I can afford to, to drive down there that way it's not as big as hit to my pocketbook because uh, uh, I wasn't quite prepared uh, for hopper stock and I had to drive quite a ways uh, what saved me on that was Doug Road well I drove four hours to Doug's house and then he split the cost with me on that and that was still that was still pretty pricey but, uh, and I couldn't imagine doing that now because gas or diesels even crazier but uh, I'm, I'm really stoked uh, that I get to you know I'm not gonna go crazy port job on that raffle saw because I don't know who's gonna get it um, but I'll, you know, probably fix the squish. Uh, I'll probably open the lowers, move the ports around to where, where I think it'd make a good work saw for someone. And and uh, I will probably run it, but I don't know if I will bar it up and and run it. Um, because I kind of want to keep it looking, looking new for the for the raffle. But I don't know. I, we, we might do some test cuts with it and then just clean it really good. But I, I want to get the wild thing running. Probably bust that 872L. I have an 872I that I really, really, really want to get into and do bad things to. Um, 
but I'm, that's going to have to get put off on hold. And then I got a 660 uh, Neotech that I got to build yet for the Clone Wars. Um, I wanted to go read, but I guess uh, they don't they don't want me to do do read on that, so I'll I'll just port the snot out of it, uh, piston port, and and roll with it that way. I'm, I'm not too terribly worried about it. I, after Sawfest, I can always tear it apart and read it later. That's the cool thing about them 660s is parts. Aftermarket parts is pretty readily available for that model. Uh, I also want to re maybe revisit that 462. I've, I've thought about sending the 462 down the road. I really don't. I got good gains out of it, but uh, it's still not what I am, am su I mean, it's totally totally usable compared to what it was. It's, you know, it's probably got 20% more torque than it than it did uh, from the factory, maybe 25%. But uh, I tested uh, Brendan Cass's 462 down there. He did a little different different style than I did, and I really, really liked how that one felt. Um, that, that, what he accomplished on his is what I was trying to shoot for on mine, and I just didn't achieve it. I mean, it's still gained, but it, it, it's still a very comfortable saw to cut with. It's just, I don't I don't know as if I like it. I really, really love my 7310s much more than that saw. So I'll probably end up trading that thing off or selling it or something. I, I, I just don't see me using it much in my in my production field of work. So um, I might do a little bit more muffler mod on that just to see what goes on. I kind of talked to Brennan about that a little a little bit too at the both bell hoppers and Brennan's had considerably more muffler mod. I went real conservative on that one. It's still got a spark arrestor in it and stuff because yeah, I planned on using it for tree work. Uh, I have a stock 500i that I want to port the crap out of too if I can ever uh, get back to it. Um, I gotta finish up that 520 SP with fuel lines and stuff. So yeah, I got a lot lot going on but I just I wanted to get you guys some content uh, today this is what I'm gonna be working on uh, get this done today get it out of here I'll kind of sweep my shop up a little bit and then I'll get that workbench in here and then uh, I'll probably start on that that 36 video but I've probably blabbered on here now oh yeah good God, it's almost 13 minutes so uh, those of you that watched it Thanks for putting up on the blabbering. I'm going to shut this down, upload this video, and get back on this. You guys have a good day.